Hey, welcome to this Command Modern Air Naval Operations gameplay video. If you love modern simulations, then don't miss a minute of what's coming up. Well, hey, welcome. It's time to play some Command Modern Air Naval Operations. Today we're playing a very simple little scenario. It's more of a demo than a real challenge. It's uh, Operation Wooden Leg. It's uh, primarily here to demonstrate tanking. So what do you say we jump in there and start reading what it's about? Of course, I have set up a save game to save us some time, and this will be a very brief video, I believe. But let's click on that. But before we get into this very deeply, hey, if you've been following along and haven't subscribed, why not? Please, Hit that subscribe button, ring the bell so you know when I've posted another video, like and share, and most especially, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Okay, Israel versus the PLO. In response to IDF forces apprehending a known senior commander, the PLO forced 17 operatives, hijacked a small Israeli yacht, and executed three Israeli citizens. Israel responds by conducting a surprise early morning air raid on PLO infrastructure in what is thought to be a safe haven, Tunisia. So, historical outcome, yeah, they killed a bunch of people. You can read that if you wish, just pause the video. So this is the important part. This is a simple one-sided airstrike scenario designed to help players get familiar with planning and conducting airstrikes with tanker support. So in-flight refueling and command is accomplished by assigning air tankers with compatible refueling configurations to support missions between a unit's home base and target. Aircraft and aircraft groups will then by default head toward the nearest tanker to take on fuel before striking a target. I found when I played this through that that's true if they're on a mission, but I unassigned a group because quite honestly, the leech, it, it's a, it was a, we'll see it in a minute, but it was a, a cleanup mission uh, coming in. If whatever didn't get hit in the initial strike, this guy was going to take another lick at and uh, everything got blown up. So I turned him around, gave him RTB. I almost ran out of fuel. I went out of my mind trying to force him to fuel. So I'm not sure what was going on with that. Hopefully we won't see that today. So let's go ahead and load it up. All right. PLO 417 operatives have murdered Israeli citizens and their leadership continues to direct activities from refuge in Tunisia. We must show them there is no refuge. Uh, they're likely at high alert, have no ground air weapons. Um, Tunisian forces do have several F-5 fighters based at City Ahmed Air Base, but are not likely to detect or deter an incoming raid. Your force should be out of the area before any response can be mounted. So we have two friendly seven, Boeing 707 tankers on patrol over the Mediterranean, two Boeing 707 tankers at Tel Aviv, Ben Gurion, all from 120 Squadron Desert Giants, six F-15Ds from 106 Squadron Spearhead, armed with GBU-15 glide bombs, two F-15Ds from 106 Squadron Spearhead armed with Mark 82 bombs as backup, and a helicopter carrying vessel is stationed near Malta to recover down pilots. Mission conduct an early morning raid on PLO infrastructure in Tunis using strike configured F-15s supported by our refueling tankers. Execution strike will be carried out only by eight F-15s flying from Telnoff Air Base. The Boeing 707 tanker will refuel the F- 15s over the Mediterranean, select a flight route that avoids detection by the Egyptians and Libyan radars and U.S. Navy ships in the Mediterranean. The F-15s armed with precision guided munitions make up the main body of the strike attack from the northeastern direction to take advantage of the low eastern sunrise, hit the southern targets first so that the northern wind doesn't pull smoke over the northern targets, use the F-15s armed with iron bombs to destroy any remaining targets. The attack must last no more than six minutes. On the way back to Israel, the F-15s will refuel again by Boeing 707 tanker. Okay, now what's interesting about this is that they set up the tanking for you. <laughs> there it is. They're already out there. Um, I find it, let's see, map settings, up oh, unit view, so we select that, and they seem to be two separate, <clears throat> let's take a look at the mission editor, oops, come here mission editor, 
And then I need a moment on the cough button. Yeah, I'm having a hard time keeping my uh, voice lately. We have two 707s here, which there's their patrol. There's their route. We have the, uh, let's see, let me get myself squared away here. Eight, 18 F-15s, of which the ones that are available are already assigned to strikes. So this is the this is the, the plan. We've got the, this is the target over here, by the way, right there. We've got two to hit the administrative offices, two to hit the finance building, and two to hit uh, the PLO headquarters. Now, these guys are planning to hit the large barracks, but we can change that on the fly. Uh, you can see what I've done is these guys are already active. They're going to launch right off the bat. The Iron Bomb mission, the low drag general purpose, I guess they're Mark 82s, will launch six minutes later and uh, follow behind. It'll give us a little bit of flexibility depending on how hard these guys hit uh, over here. So last time I messed with this, uh, these guys just smashed everything. There was nothing left to uh, there was nothing left to hit, but we shall see. Things to look at: Mission Doctrine, MCON. Everybody's passive, so they're coming in blind. Here's our little close that. Here's our little boat with the helicopter that is waiting if he needs to uh, do a star mission. Now, quite honestly, I'm not sure that that's modeled in the game. It says route everything so that you don't go over Navy ships. I don't see any. It also tells you to attack from the northeast, but the strike missions will just pretty much draw a direct line between here and there. So to do that, you've got to come down and select every one of them and move oh, let's say their IP or one of the other waypoints off in this direction so they can strike from uh, that direction. Well, I'm not sure what else to say at this point. Uh, I guess it was kind of interesting, I think I've said this already, is that they don't, that they've got this mission set up for you. You didn't even have to do it. I don't know. We're going to go ahead and get it rolling and let's... Uh, Let's see how it works out. We ought to see a... Well, let's kick that up. We ought to see a launch. There we go. All right. What have we got moving? Let's zoom in. <clears> there <throat> should be our three strike groups with the glide bombs. There's GBU headquarters. GBU finance building. GBU strike admin and the iron bomb guys coming in as a backup. Now, this is kind of a pain. And telling which, what we're going to do is I think we're going to have to wait till they get closer because it's, if you zoom in here, uh, to, come on. I think this is the inbound leg. We could move it and find out. I think it is. <laughs> it's a. Uh, it's kind of a hassle. Not only that, the IP, the weapon launch point is. There we go. So it is. That's how. That's how we can determine it. If we grab the weapon launch point. Of course, the problem with weapon launch is that I guess that'll work. Uh, let's uh, move that there and let's see how, what does that do? What a mess. Yep, that's fine. And that was that group. And once again, I'm struggling with the interface. 
zoom out, click in, zoom in, click in, zoom in, grab the weapon launch point, bring it there. This is good practice. It, that This is a particularly long strike, too. I mean, this is clean across the Mediterranean, for God's sakes. You've got to... You know, let's look at that. You know, you're two-thirds across the Mediterranean, so it's, it's, they're reaching way out there with those F-15s. All right. Grab that waypoint. And grab that weapon launch. Now, the question is, will these guys actually tank? Let's find out. Now, these guys, we'll play with his, we'll play with his route. We might as well go ahead and offset that a bit right now. But we'll play with him when we get closer to here. Here's the behavior we want to see. Are these guys going to fuel on the way? One thing you can do is you can look at these guys and look at their, not their really, I don't want to look at their MCOM window. We want to look at their doctrine window. And look, there's a refueling miscellaneous. Allow but not tankers refueling tankers. You know, I think, I think. well, right, let's leave that alone. They set this up. I don't know if those tankers are fueling each other or not. Okay, there's the, uh, if you opened a dialogue and hit the space bar to continue, it opens the dialogue again. Bug. Slow down. Let's see what they do. Step it up just a little bit. Looks like they've decided they don't need any fuel on the way in. And that's almost certainly a tanker launching to uh, get back on station. Here they come. And get a little closer. Stop. Uh, I grabbed the wrong leg on him. We'll just kick him back down here. And there's his IP. Kick the IP around. And that takes care of that guy. We're going to go ahead and get into unit view so we can watch the strike and we're going to slow down so that we can kind of enjoy speed it up a little bit okay here they come in this Carthage. All right, we got weapons away. Weapons inbound. Slow it down a little bit. Let's have some fun. Wow, that was a big hit. More incoming. Not so good. Let's stop and see what we got left. Here's two more coming. Where's my... Here's my iron bomb, guys. We're going to have to change their targeting, I do believe. Because we have not done... We'll take a look. Game. Losses. 
We've got three buildings. I don't know. Well, I don't know. Let's see what happens. Fire it up. Uh huh. Boom, boom, boom. All right. Stop. Where are we? Losses and expenditures. We've killed four buildings. Just out of curiosity, how does that look from scoring? Uh, your, your score is average. What do we have left? PLO compound target. The administrative building. Administrative offices. All right, the barracks are already done. Let's select those guys. I think we can do this in mid-strike. It's a learning moment. Come up here to the mission editor. Pick our iron bomb barracks. Iron bomb barracks mission. Well, the barracks aren't there anymore. Uh, administrative buildings. I wonder if they can hit all four of them. How many weapons are they carrying? Can we tell that from here? No. Uh, I think maybe here. They each carrying six Mark 82 500 pound bombs. Uh, I think perhaps we should limit them to a couple of buildings. So let's take a look at what's most likely. Those are there's a compound. Is there more than one there? There's three. Let's get our missions back. Let's remove all that. Administrative offices, medium building, medium building. And over here, administrative offices, administrative offices. Well, we may not get all of them, but we'll, you know, with any luck. Well, you know, I, 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 I'm not real sure how they'll behave. Will they make another pass? Let's not get greedy. Let's take those two and be done. All right, zoom out a bit. Maybe zoom out a lot. Where are those strike birds? All right, they're still way out. Let's kick that up. Let's stop. Ooh, I tried to stop and it didn't work. How did we do? Uh, oh, wow. They got them and almost took those two. Let's take a look. Game. You know what we can do. Load. Back 20 seconds. We can watch these guys come in again. Thump. Thump. Oh, 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 I cheated. <laughs> Alright, this is a demo of what, what can you do with the game when you unload. What's, what are those guys going to hit now? Nothing. All right. Well, since that changed, the random number generator changed the result of the strike. What I was trying to do is be able to see these guys get their hits in. But that's okay. Let's select that. Let's go to the mission editor. Yeah, I got on the other monitor. Iron bomb barracks. Add those two units. Five seconds. Speed it up a bit. And then we'll get to see the laydown, which is kind of cool, which is the whole point of doing it again. The whole point of this series is the times if you change Zoom, yep. Yeah. Everybody see what you can do with the game. So I just step back 20 seconds and said, wait a minute, what if I try it this way? Which is kind of cool. Yeah, there they go. If I go to group view. I guess they're already pat. Nope. Is that their IP right there? I don't know. 
Let's go back to individual view, the unit view. Five seconds, two seconds, one second, and we should see the late house. Come on, there we go. And the weapons are away. Aircraft are turning. They said we've had enough of this. Let's go. Oh, thump thump. And you know what? It didn't finish the buildings off. Oh, it got one of them. It finished one of them for sure. All right. Well, while everybody is turning back, now we're going to watch the refueling, I hope. Uh, game scoring. Oh, triumph. Yeah, there's not a lot of tactical genius here. This is just run the scenario. All right. Okay, well, we can see everything again. There's our fueling guys. Start. Kick this up to 15. Start. And see if we can observe. All right. These guys are actually coming out. Let's take a look at their fuel states. Ooh, they're low. So these guys are actually coming out to fuel them, it looks like. So you can look here, heading to refuel point. Bingo on Winchester. Winchester. Uh, no, destination 120 squadron. Yeah, okay. Maneuvering to refuel. Okay. Let's see how that works out. Select over here, get that data block out of the way. All right, look at them. Look at them. Very cool game. I, it, I said over and over again, the interface makes me crazy. But what they've accomplished is pretty astounding. You know, that, I don't know if I said this in another video or not. I know I've said it at the, the Facebook group, that one of the Facebook groups I inhabit. Uh, that, that this is the ultimate war game construction kit. It's going to freeze on me. Looks like those guys are still looking for somebody to. There we go. He's still waiting his turn. I really can't tell if there's more than who's refueled and who hasn't. Let's step up the pace a little bit. See if we can sort that out. Oh goodness! It looks like they're they're flying in formation with the refueling birds. Oh yeah, looks like it. That's what it looks like. Okay, let's see what happens. Okay, let's zoom out. Let's pause for a minute and see what we can find here. They got a lot of fuel. They got a lot of fuel. Man, group, yeah, switch to group view. Plenty fuel, plenty fuel. I think could be, there should be four flights of F-15s. And they've all got plenty of fuel. All right, let's go home. And at this point, you can do some fun stuff like you could come in here and grab this guy and tell him the RTB. And there's another guy launching for fueling that won't be needed. Tell him RTB. Everybody lands. Everybody ought to be on home plate.
yep, everybody is home plate, everybody's happy, and all that's left is to check scoring. 700, let's end the scenario immediately. And there you go, losses and expenditures. We burned 6 GBU 15s. They carried one each. Huh, Mark 84s. 12 Mark 82s. We killed 7 buildings for no losses, no expenditures on the other side. Scoring log tells you... Um, we could have scored another 100 points, it looks like. Fire weapon. It just says scores points, but we had a one building left. Okay, well there it is. That's tanking. It's actually pretty straightforward. It looks like you just get. The, and I, I say that. Maybe we should look at this real quick. There are things in here about tanking you need to learn, uh, like this. Not tankers refueling tankers, which you can do. You can have your tankers refuel other tankers and so use nearest tanker with enough fuel to it da, da, da. all this stuff can be set up airborne receivers can book tankers within uh, receivers tactical range or you know it's you can plan all of that in your uh, in your overall plan this scenario didn't require us to do that in any case I found it informative and interesting we're getting real close to start to play some uh, more serious scenarios, uh, even more than the last one, which was kind of fun, a little Falklands thing. And uh, I'm having a good time. I sure hope you are. And I hope to see you again soon. Hey, thanks for watching. If you click on that picture of Very Young Waz, you'll be subscribed so you'll never miss another video. Then click on that bell notification button and please share and comment. See you again soon.